Hi, it's Trixie telling you what to put in your very first drag makeup kit. Hi, it's Trixie. Now, I may not be an expert at everything in drag. I may not be able to death drop. I may not be able to, you know, sing opera. But one drag skill I have really honed is shopping for makeup. I have tried everything high, high end to low, low end, theatrical to acrylic paint on my face. I have tried everything because I'm a product junkie and because I have done drag when I had $40 in the bank and I've done drag as a one percenter in California. So I'm just being transparent with you guys that not everything expensive is always good and not everything cheap is always bad. And more importantly, your skill level with makeup will always be improving, but the better tools you have off the bat when you start learning makeup, I promise you, you will look back to when you started doing makeup and you'll be like, I can't believe I use those products. Those are so obviously the wrong product, but you don't know that now. But now you have me to tell you. So if you are interested in starting drag and you don't know who I am, I don't know how you got here, but I'm Trixie. I'm a New York Times bestselling author, a cosmetics mogul, a motel owner, a TV star, a philanthropist, and I'm just a good old experienced person who wears wigs and makeup. And I'm not sensitive about sharing information with y'all. I wish I had a drag queen in my life in 2007 who was like, girl, don't buy that. But of course, I bought all of it. And I'm here to help you guys get your makeup kit started with some of the best performing products for the price point. Now, before we get started, I wanna tell you about this dress. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. From the beginning of my drag career, I was a secondhand queen. There's three things I love about thrifting. One, affordable. B, vintage. And C, it's great for the environment. So with ThreadUp, I get to engage in some of my favorite principles and values. It's basically an online thrift store. I mean, I have to tell you on ThreadUp, it was great for me because I can just filter by styles. I can look for something that's pink. I can put in my size. I also love that no matter where I am, like it's being able to thrift shop on my phone, in my pocket, anytime I want. I'm gonna show you guys a few other outfits, but just so you know, if you wanna shop my picks, click my link below and use the code Trixie for an extra 40% off your order. Now, it's 40% off, but I might remind you that some of these are priced already very competitively. So this look is so cute. Um, love this little 60s, super easy. I think this is Vince Camuto, actually. Look how good this even fits. Like, normally for drag, you end up seeing bra and stuff. This fits perfect. I also got a new bag, and I have an outfit that's perfect for it, so I'm gonna show you. I've had this dress for probably four years and I've never worn it because I just, I've never figured out the right way to wear it, but look at it with this little bag. Do you know what I mean? Like this is a solid dress and I always felt like it just wasn't enough. And now look at it like, huh? Hello. Being able to find the right piece on Thread Up that's not like brand new, it made this whole outfit brand new. This Kate Spade bag, you guys, it would have been so much more, 45 bucks. Like, I'll take it. Woo. Okay, so this is a little like norm core, but you guys know I love the 60s and I love turtlenecks. For some of my like bolder bags, like look how fun to put with like a solid outfit. Working woman, hello. 26 bucks, baby. Look how good this fits me. This came from Red Up. So I already had this little jacket, but all I had to wear with it was like a white shirt that I got makeup on every time I wore it. This is just a little like sweater tank top, but look how good it looks with this. So sometimes you're looking for a piece that like makes the look and sometimes you just need like a little helper. I have one more thing to show you. Finally, look at this. Okay, I would actually would have probably not believed that I was gonna love this as much as I do, but look at this, the way it sits on my shoulders. It's kind of like, ooh, demure. And look at the fit, like the boobs, the everything. Look at that. This is $65. I'm telling you, I'm not saying you have to base your whole personality on thrifting like me and some of my friends, but it's so rewarding. It's good for the environment. It's good for your pocketbook. And it feels like treasure hunting. Treasure hunt from your pocket with our friends at ThreadUp. Shop my picks at the link below and use the code Trixie for an extra 40% off your first order. And thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Now, some of these, I have like a holy grail for you. And for some of these, I will give you a low price point and a high price point option. And I'll tell you the difference. But before we start, I just wanna let you know, every drag queen's makeup kit looks different. Go to all the videos on the channel. We've had Candy Muse, we've had Lux, we've had Jinx, we've had everyone on this channel. And all those queens sit right here next to me and everyone's makeup looks different. I have a very like, objective POV when it comes to what I think you guys need to do drag. Whether you're doing Marsha, 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 and it's just some glitter and a dream, or you are, you know, Mistress Isabel Brooks painting your head for the back row. I think I picked stuff here that's very versatile and I'm really excited to share with you. So I'm gonna start with some real base level stuff, right? What do most drag queens do? They glue down their brows. There's two ways to do that. One is to use rubbing alcohol to clean out your brows and then use something like Prozade, which is like a very intense adhesive, which does work, but I have never been able to use Prozade without losing eyebrows. I recommend that you use a little alcohol on your brows 
and then you use Elmer's disappearing glue stick. You've seen this on Drag Race. You've seen every drag queen in every video taking this thing and it dries clear. And most importantly, it's extremely replenishable. I can get these at Target, CVS, Walgreens, like anywhere. So no matter where I am in the world, this is an easy thing to replenish, which is very nice. So if you're gonna get into gluing your brows, it's a long road to getting good at it, and I'm still not great at it, but this is the way to go. Moving right along, foundation. If you have perfect skin, good for you. But in drag, I don't think many of us have perfect skin. So I'm gonna tell you what the gold standard is. I think most drag queens would tell you at some point in their life, they have used TV Paint Stick. TV Paint Stick is a product put out by Krylon Cosmetics, which is a really cool makeup company. I think it's based in Germany. They make very cool professional and theatrical makeup products. And this product is like a wax kind of like a grease paint stick. It's a little more wax based. My shade that I usually use, I'm not wearing it today, is called NB1. It's a little peachy, a little warmer, but for drag, I like a little peachy and warm. I wore this for at least five years of my life. The only reason I stopped using it is because as I got older, I think my skin started to agree with liquid more, but man, does this cover. This will cover tattoos. You guys know I have this birthmark. Wait, this birth, wait, this birthmark. Sorry, I have this birthmark. I remember times in my career taking this stick and just and it disappears. I won't do it today because I don't want to get makeup on my new Vince Camuto dress. And it comes in a billion shades. I have it in every shade, but my skin color I usually use is NB1. And the shade that you see all the drag queens using to highlight, if you are taking notes, write this down. The highlighting shade for anybody medium to fair, TV paint stick in TV white. It's called TV white because in TV, you usually don't wanna use anything actually white on your face or under lights and cameras, it turns almost blue. Same in clubs, it, white can turn gray. TV white is as white as you can get with still having some warmth. So even when the light hits it, you never look ghosty, you just look highlighted. This product, I'm not gonna lie to you, we keep one around at all times because when I'm mindlessly getting in drag and I need a highlight, I know I can always use this. I have it on today under my brow, I have it on here, I have it on, on my chin, down my nose. Get your skin color, get a contour, and get TV white, you will be good forever. Now, if you don't want that as foundation, you guys know if you watch the channel, I love Maybelline Superstay, I love Makeup Forever Matte Velvet, but I do think liquid foundation is a little harder for a beginner. If you don't wanna get that, I'm gonna recommend this to you, and I wish this existed when I started makeup. This is from Makeup Forever. It's a little palette where one side is foundation, and one side is cream like rouge. As a baby queen, you're gonna wanna experiment. I can do my whole drag makeup with these and I can do my lips and cheeks with these. If you wanted to start drag, you could just get this and you'd have all your foundation and blush covered. You could even do your lips with these. Love this product. It's a little more expensive for a baby drag queen product, but the versatility, worth it. Put this in your kit. Once you have all that cream makeup on, you gotta set it, right? There's one school of thought. It's flower your head like a Cornish hen. I mean, the two ways to do that would be, this is Ben Nye Neutral Set. This powder looks white. It is clear. I've seen people with very deep skin use this and it doesn't look super fair. As a baby queen, being able to buy one of these jars like a year was amazing for me. I'll show you guys. I mean, on the brush, this looks white. I just have a Trixie Cosmetics brush here. It looks white, right, on the brush. And then it completely blends out. Do you see that? Now, if you're very deep, I couldn't recommend banana enough. Ben Nye banana powder is great. Cocoa powder is great. Now, the premium version of this is Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. They make translucent. My favorite is banana. If you guys watch my video where I tried the most expensive of every product, we used banana for the first time in that video. And if you watch it, my skin had previously never looked better. That's a little more expensive. And I may or may not have won a lifetime supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills, but that powder is amazing. But Again, if you're just starting, this totally works. Now, after you've done your loose powder, you're gonna wanna play around with pressed face powders for setting, for carving out your face, for highlighting. And I have two great options here. My favorite affordable face powder, the Maybelline Superstay face powders are absolutely beautiful. They're available at every drugstore. They come with a small vanity, little mirror. They come with a puff, so high quality. And for the price point, if you're at a stage where you're still experimenting with your makeup and you're not sure what color you are, you can go get three or four of these. A lot of times these are on sale. Sometimes they're like two for one. We have a whole drawer of these. We've been using them on this channel for years. When we go on tour, we have a palette of just these. And that way, if they run out, we can just go replace them. I hate to say as a touring drag queen, if I love a product, but it's not replenishable on the road, I probably won't take it. Because it's so easy for me to have this empty, hand it to Brandon and say, can you go pick this up today? And we know we can get this anywhere. Now the fancy version, my favorite used to be MAC Studio Fix Powder. But girl, I'm sorry. One size, one size turn up the base has come in here 
and shown all the girls what they should have did. Now this is stage white. It's a white powder. I don't normally use this. I'm gonna show you guys like just under the brow bone though, a white like this. You see that just, oh yeah. When they started making the white, I was like, they love the drag queens. You gotta get it at Sephora or Ulta or something like that, but it's very, very good. Personally, I get lighter, one that matches, and one darker, and I just take three of them in a bag with me on a trip. Super easy. For brows, I just want to say, I love everyone. There's a lot of great options in the world. The super affordable option of doing your brows is to use whatever neutral eyeshadow palette you have. If you have a nice neutral brown eyeshadow palette, you don't need to carry a brow product. You just need to carry this, and you need to carry a tool to draw on brows. You don't need a pencil. You don't need to do all that. But if you want to get fancy, Urban Decay Brow Blade, worth its money worth its weight in gold. One side is a little twist up pen. The other side is a felt tip like little marker. But honestly, if you're starting out in drag and you're still finding your brow style, your brow shape, just use a neutral eyeshadow palette. You don't have to buy another product. Don't let them trick you at the makeup counters. Speaking of eyeshadows, if we're gonna go ahead, I couldn't pick just one, but I wanted to give you guys an example of what I think would be worth your investment. So this is Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. It is nine shades. You can tell I used mine a lot. It's nine shades of all matte neutrals. Now, when you're learning to change the shapes of your face and try new makeup styles and cheat your features bigger and more beautiful, nothing is more valuable than a nice, concise, matte, neutral color story. I used this for at least eight months on a tour, and look, I didn't even hit pan. This is such a beautiful product, and they still have it on sale. Fun fact, Too Faced eyeshadows are quadruple milled. Most eyeshadows are triple milled. Too Faced products are quadruple milled, so they're super, super soft, which means when you're a baby drag queen, it's a little more forgiving. I'm just letting you know. Now, the super affordable version of that would be Wet n Wild Color Icon. ELF makes these great little, I think they're called bite-sized shadow palettes, where there's four of them. Those are the two most affordable options of a nice little neutral palette. Because the mattes are very matte, the shimmers are very shimmery, and the pigmentation is nice and strong. Now, if you're looking to get a little more fancy and support an independent makeup company that's woman-owned, Sugar Pill. Sugar Pill was some of my first like nice makeup I invested in as a baby drag queen. Here's an example of one of their little palettes. These pans are huge. Suburbia, one of my all-time favorite colors, works as a shadow or a blush. Amy, if you're watching this, hi. We've had Amy from Sugar Pill on the channel, and we did a collab with Amy at Trixie Cosmetics. Sugar Pill, it's amazing, and it's a little fancier than drugstore, but it's not gonna make you feel like you're dipping into your retirement. Can I say, I hate to self-promote, but I have to just be honest with you guys. When it comes to doing makeup for the first time, when it comes to finding your face in drag, learning about makeup, you are only as good as your tools. Our brushes at Trixie Cosmetics are not high priced. Some of them are $8. These are the best brushes I've ever used. They ship extremely quickly, and you can buy a full set at TrixieCosmetics.com. I'm telling you, where's my camera? This one, this one. I'm telling you, if you don't have great tools, you will never make that makeup look great. You will. I just saw a video of Mayhem Miller. Maybe we can pull it up. She forgot her makeup brushes for a gig and she had to do her whole makeup with her hands. Now she pulled it off, but we're not all Mayhem Miller. Even with the right brushes, I mess up my makeup every single day. So I'm just being honest, invest in the tools. Like holiday's coming, your birthday's coming, just flat out look at your homophobic dad and say, I want these makeup brushes from this drag queen and I want them now. These brushes are super high density. It's a lacquered handle. You can wash these to death. And because they're not natural bristles, they do not shed ever, ever. Best brushes on the market. An underrated part of doing drag. I will tell you, talk to any professional drag queen. The mark of a baby drag queen is body odor. I'm sorry, it is. Like, think of drag as Muppets 4D. The way you smell, matters, right? Like, we're not just talking hygiene. This is Dove sensitive, like, women's deodorant. This is what I wear in drag. I'm just gonna, I'll be vulnerable. I'll be very vulnerable. This is what we take on tour. I have very sensitive um, skin, so I can't wear anything too, you know, like, smelly. I also recommend perfume. I cannot stress this enough. I'm not saying you need to go buy $200 like Tom Ford. I'm not saying you have to have the best perfume. Something. Something is so much better than nothing. Dry queens without perfume, you might as well not have a wig on, honestly. You might as well not have lashes on. Anything is better than nothing. A body spray. But when you're in drag and you know you smell good, the confidence shoots through the roof. I can't even tell you. Not to mention, in drag, we're often working in crowded, hot environments. You don't want to be standing this close to another drag queen and not be certain that you smell good. I need to know I smell good if they're going to see me naked in a wig. Okay, speaking of hygiene, eventually you got to take the makeup off. The most cost-effective and the best 
wipes, honestly. The Neutrogena wipes. Every makeup artist uses these. These are great. Even when I worked at like high-end makeup counters, this is what we really used behind the counter. I have sensitive skin. They don't tear me up too bad. These are great. We take off a lot of makeup and drag. Don't forget that. And you wanna use the right tools because if you tear up your face, you gotta paint it the next day and you don't wanna have an irritated face. Moving right along. Now this might be controversial, but if you're starting in drag, you can go cheap on mascara. I think the best drugstore ones are Maybelline. Sky High is one of the best mascaras I've ever used. I love L'Oreal Voluminous. This is great. With mascara, especially starting out, don't skip it. There's nothing worse than drag queens with big black fantasy lashes on. And then when you get close, you can see their tiny white wooden looking lashes that haven't been painted. It drives me insane. If you've ever met me at a meet and greet and you did that, I remember it. Don't be that girl. And you just want them to be black. You don't have to be perfect. You work in a nightclub, but don't leave them unpainted. I will lose sleep over it, please. My favorite lash glue that is eye approved is Duo. The one that dries clear. It's great because in your kit, you can use it to apply lashes. And since it dries clear, you can use it to apply rhinestones, glitter. You can get the black glue if you want, but honestly, it's just limiting. I don't like the way black glue looks because I can't control what it looks like when it dries. This is not essential. But if you want to do a face primer, I'm going to tell you skincare matters as much as the makeup you're putting on. Skincare could be a whole other video. We're not going to get into skincare today. But a nice, affordable first primer, this Maybelline Master Prime, super easy. Maybelline's great. Get it at the drugstore. This one is to blur and pore minimize, so it's very mattifying, which for drag is great. For drag, most of us want a super matte surface, and then we want to add shimmer when we say. You know, I don't want all over glow. I want like cheekbones, glitter, but I want most of it matte. And this is very mattifying and super affordable. That being said, some primers are really good. We did the super expensive makeup video. That La Mer primer that was $99 is the best primer I've ever used. But you're just starting drag. You don't have to have the kit today that you have in 10 years. Let yourself make mistakes with the cheap products and then graduate to the nicer stuff. I know what you're thinking. I'm not like other drag queens. I'm taking this seriously. No, you're not. You just started, relax. There's nothing like seasoned drag queens hate more than you. Just know that, like, your confidence is fun, but we all think you look horrible, and we're gonna wait a few years to tell you how bad you look. Now, for bronzer, you know, you could use face powders. We talked about some other face powders. I am gonna selfishly plug you guys. We make a bronzer called Flower Power Bronzer that is perfectly suited for a drag queen because it's laid out perfect for you. There's your contour. There's your deep contour. There's your cheekbone highlight. You could just get one of these and you have two different contour shades and a highlighter in one pan. And you have a huge mirror. You can do your whole drag makeup in here. I have this on today. Do you see how that, like the pocket of my cheek looks so dimensional? It's because I have the deeper shade right here. Love this product, so proud of it. I've seen TikToks of people saying like, did Trixie Cosmetics just drop the most genius bronzer? And I'm like, that's what I've been saying. So this is really good if you just want one product to shape your face, this one. Moving right along, I'm not saying everyone has to be like Trixie where I have an absurd amount of eyeliner on. I know eyeliner is kind of my thing. You know, I was very inspired in the beginning of my drag journey by like Divine, Val Garland, which by the way, when I worked on Glow Up with Val Garland, I was like, when I worked at the makeup counters, we would look at editorials you did and we would try to copy your eyeliners to build our skill level. And she was like, I always thought you and I were kind of connected. I'm like, yeah, I probably thought of this eyeliner while looking at pictures of your work. Just don't ever underestimate the power of a good eyeliner. I have seen drag queens do their entire eye makeup with just black gel eyeliner. This is L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner. It is the best black gel liner for the price point. It comes with a brush. It's a nice big pot. It dries black, it lasts all night. And again, the best part about it is it's replenishable. You can stop at the drugstore on the way to the club and get another one of these. Love this product. And you guys know on this channel, we've tried every black eyeliner. And when we did the L'Oreal video, this blew our minds and we've used it ever since. Liner is the fastest, funnest way to change up your look. Now, we can't forget blush. And again, I'm not just saying we have the best blush. Now, when you're starting with blush, you're going to want options, right? Our blushes come in palettes of three pans. This is Summer of Love, our first blush palette. It comes with a hot, hot pink, a nice neutral pink, and a highlighter. Or again, we have Back to the Fuchsia. It comes with a hot, hot purple, a nice neutral purple, and a metallic highlighter. I think for drag, getting a little blush palette that has a few shades is so worth it. You're not going to want to carry around a bunch of individual blushes. Find a nice big blush palette with several shades so you can play around. And then if you're just going to go to the drugstore, honestly, 
honestly. The Maybelline blushes, the Fit Me blushes are beautiful. They're just easy. All right, lips. So lip liners, there's a lot of great options. NYX has great options. Makeup Forever is expensive, but those are probably the best liners I've ever used. The one size liners are beautiful, but lip liners, that's one of those things that when you're learning, you can go cheap. You'll figure it out. You'll find out what you like. With lip liners, it's more important to experiment with colors than brands. You will figure out, like for me, I know if I have a nice burgundy, a nice raisin, a brown, those are the liners I use every day. And so that's important to me. But with lipstick, I'm gonna save you guys a lot of drama and I'm just gonna tell you, one of the best lipsticks you can get in the world is at the drugstore. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lip Colors. I have one of them here in Romantic, which is a hot, hot, hot pink. And I have one of them here in Lover, which is like a nice, like, berry. They're easy to replenish, they're easy to apply, and they have this nice big doe foot applicator which makes it easy to mix colors. Liquid lipsticks for drag, you guys. You can wear a long wig, flip your hair around. Wearing liquid lipsticks, I'm telling you, for drag queens, it's just bread and butter. You'll love it. We're really accidentally shouting out Maybelline a lot, but I love Maybelline, so. Finally, this is sort of like, maybe a little obvious, hair right? Wigs, hair. There's one hairspray that for drag queens, we just, we can't get enough of it. It's the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freezing Spray. I have one here and I have a tiny one. We love to have the tiny ones because they can go in the touch-up bags for set. These big cans, you guys, like this really holds hair like in a shell. And I'm gonna tell you something I wish that I had learned early on. In beauty school, they taught us all hairsprays are designed to work the best eight to 12 inches from the head. So if you're trying to make a wig stay and you're like, I'm gonna spray closer, that does not help. Hold the can away from the head and spray it like you're casting one big net on the wig. Don't soak one area that is so stupid and does not help. Finally, my last piece of advice is, a bigger kit is not a better kit. The more product you have doesn't mean you're better at makeup. Honestly, the longer I've done drag, my makeup bag has shrunk. When I first started traveling as Trixie like 10 years ago, I had a suitcase for just makeup. What was I thinking? That was such a burden. Now, when I go on tour, you guys have seen a video where I pack my bag for tour. My bag is the size of, I don't know, a loaf of bread. It's not big because I have one or two of everything I need. You do not need to overpack. Don't do it, Gina. Don't do it. We could sit here and talk for hours about makeup but today I really tried to give you guys an idea of where to start. I would also say it helps to watch videos. James Mansfield's videos are amazing. Kimora Black does great drag makeup on YouTube. If any of you have done drag before and there's some like holy grail products, please put them below and let's use the like system to push the ones everyone agrees with to the top because I bet you there's some stuff I forgot and I bet you it's really obvious and I bet when I read the comments, I'm gonna be mad. So thank you guys for joining me here. By the way, if you guys haven't been able to tell this dress from Thread Up, obsessed, look how perfect it fits me. Click my link below and use the code Trixie for an extra 40% off your first order at Thread Up. If you like these type of videos, let me know and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.